Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm currently driving to go get coffee right now, even though I already made a coffee because we didn't have any milk this morning because we didn't go grocery shopping yet. So I attempted to make a latte with my oat milk creamer, which I forgot how sweet that stuff was because it was way too sweet. I like it in coffee with just like a splash of it, but I did an espresso shot, so it was like too much to make a latte out of. So I'm gonna go get Starbucks because really need it and it's only 8 30 a.m. I feel like I've been in a bit of a rut lately you guys I'm not gonna lie so I'm really trying to get back into the swing of things today I started off my morning really strong it's more of like a self-care morning I didn't go to the gym today kind of took the morning to myself I worked on my computer for a while I finally caught up on emails I was like slacking on that last week I had a healthy breakfast and then it all just went downhill after my coffee was ruined so this is gonna be like the turnaround and we're gonna keep going with the day. Back home now and I've got my coffee so I'm feeling alive. Ready to get this day started and I think now would be the perfect time to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a really cute little project for your kitchen or your pantry. Honestly, you can use this idea and customize it for anything in your house. It's an organization idea to kind of help liven up your living space and it's super easy to do with your Cricut machine. I can't wait until the end to show you guys what we're gonna make because how freaking cute is this I just want to show you guys now so you know what we're making it's a really cute container that you can actually customize this to say whatever you want if you wanted to make something to hold your dog's toys a crate for towels in the bathroom a little box for snacks a place for storage in your laundry room there's like so many things you could use this for but I decided to use it for Chad's coffee he doesn't really use an espresso machine too much he likes to get freshly roasted coffee and then he goes ahead and does pour overs so I thought this would be a perfect little spot to store all of his stuff his coffee filters and all of his coffee in here. So I'm obsessed with how it turned out and let's get into how you guys can make this. So for this project, I'm gonna be using my Cricut Joy. You guys know this is my favorite little machine right here because I can do so much with it and it's super easy to use. You're also gonna need your Cricut Joy Smart Iron-On. You can also use a regular vinyl. I just prefer this because I don't have to go through the process of using transfer tape. It just immediately goes on there with the application of heat. So that brings me to my next thing. You'll need to go ahead and get your Cricut Easy Press. You can also use a regular iron if you don't have the Easy Press. This machine makes your life so much easier when it comes to ironing on things And I just love the fact that it's not only for like ironing on clothes and stuff But you can also use it on various surfaces like wood Which I recently learned is so much better than the regular vinyl because you don't have to do all of the transfer tape and deal with all of that It's so fast and then of course you're gonna need some sort of little wooden crate Okay, so the first thing I'm doing as always is measuring the surface of where I'm gonna be placing the vinyl So that way I know how big to make it on the Cricut design space So I don't want it to go all all the way to the end. I kind of want it to be like centered. So I think I'm gonna go with maybe like nine and a half inches or like nine to nine and a half inches. And now that I know the dimensions that we're working with, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file that I'm gonna use. And this one is simple. This is gonna be a cut image, not a print and then cut image. Then you just insert it into the design. And now I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out so that it's the right size. So because I'm making this on the Cricut Joy, I do have to be careful about the dimensions going down. I could do the three separate words, but I want to keep this as all in one piece so that way I can make sure it lines up properly. So I'm going to do it a little smaller than I had initially said, but I'm still going to center it so I think it'll look good. And super important whenever you do a project like this with heat transfer vinyl, you want to make sure that you turn on the mirror option so that way it flips your text and it's going to be correct when you go to apply it on whatever you're placing it on. The next step is my favorite part. We're gonna go ahead and load in the vinyl. I love the Cricut Joy because you don't need a mat. It's super simple whenever you buy the stuff that's like the smart iron on. Anything that says smart, you can load it right into your Cricut Joy and it's so fast. Now I'm just cutting off the excess vinyl. You can skip this step if you measured beforehand, obviously, but I just like to stick the whole roll in there. That way I know it has enough, and then I just cut it at the end. Now I'm just peeling off all of the excess vinyl. This is called weeding, so you'll need one of these little tools like this. I'll link everything that I used for this project in the description as always. So if you guys wanna try this out, you can get everything that I used. 
but without this little tool it can get really tricky when you're getting the inside of the letters and I'll show you guys that in a second like for this one because it was all in caps I just have the O's to get out but this tool is really helpful to grab out the letters of the extra vinyl so now I'm just gonna flip the crate up like this so it's like a flat surface to work on and I'm going to go ahead and place the vinyl exactly where I want it and then you can check online on Cricut's website to find out what heat tools you should use for the type of vinyl that you're using as well as the surface that you're applying it to for this one it's 300 degrees and technically it's 45 seconds but I always like to start out with less to make sure that I'm not going to melt it so I'm going to do 30 seconds check it and then I'll probably do the last 15. And that is it guys here's what it looks like again the final product i'm obsessed with how this turned out it's such a cute storage idea and also it's just decor and thank you again to cricut for working with me on today's video if you guys want to check out any of the stuff that i used for this project everything will be linked in the description and i'll also have cricut's website linked in the description office to go drop off all the packages and I'm going straight back home it's already almost 2 30 and I've gotten so much done today already I'm so happy I'm doing a little bit of shopping for the boutique for stuff for early July because it's getting like well it's June 22nd so like towards the end of the month so that's when I'll start shopping for the next month and since you guys always want to see behind the scenes stuff I thought I would give you like a first-hand look at some of the stuff I'm looking at getting this isn't all for sure because sometimes things go in back order and they're not able to get them in but this is stuff that i ordered so as long as it's in stock and the vendor's able to get it then i'm gonna have this stuff for the boutique soon these thai style crop tops are really in so i did decide to order some of these i really like this one because it's a halter style and it has like a zip in the back which i thought was really cool and i'm hoping this is going to be tight enough to where someone with a larger bust like myself can wear it without a bra so maybe it'll be supportive enough i definitely like that it's adjustable so that's super cute and then i also got this one in blue and this one is like a cow neck design it has stars all over it and it has like a crisscross open back style again this is like super trendy right now to have this like open back everything is open back right now um so i really like this i think it's so pretty i also have white shorts and a white skirt right now available on the boutique so i thought this would just like go with any of those another super trendy top i ordered this definitely not something i'll be able to model but i got it with the thought that one of the other models could probably wear this and model it for me for the website and then another one of those tie tops because again these are just super trendy right now and i'm trying to sell what is trending for my store so i really like the halter top and then of course it just like ties around the front and then this is also from another vendor but it's the same kind of top as that other one with like the bandana sort of top but the back is kind of like a cami with adjustable straps i got this one in the mauve color so it's like pink and then the last thing i ordered is this strappy purple dress which i am just obsessed with I actually really love how it's worn on this model and how it shows her tan lines. I don't know, I just think it looks really pretty. So I ordered this in the purple colors, kind of more of like a lilac. Very excited for this, but it is on back order until like mid-July, so probably not gonna get this one in for a while. Finally just took pictures and listed these necklaces. So if you guys were one of the people who was interested in my beaded necklaces that were handmade by 
me. They are finally live on the website and I'll link them in the description. They're so pretty and just like fun to add a little pop of color into your life. And of course they're like really trendy right now. Here's a little more behind the scenes for you guys. I have my ring light set up and of course my camera here. This is the Canon 80D with a 50 millimeter lens. That's how I take all of my product photography for the website and then I'm just using this tank top that's like a green tie-dye with this little piece of cardstock paper to shoot these really pretty rings that are gonna be dropping. I'm obsessed with them. They're so cute and they go with the whole 90s vibe. And these come in a set. I'll also link these in the descriptions. You would never know from the final photo that like this is what it actually looked like. Next thing that's coming are these super cute sunglasses. As you guys can see, I'm starting to introduce lots of color to the boutique because I'm also introducing color into my own wardrobe and the sun styled clothes kind of reflect my own style, of course. So. These sunglasses I'm really pumped about though. I posted a couple of pictures on Instagram in these ones and I got a ton of questions on where they're from and they are from the boutique. They just haven't dropped yet. So this is kind of how I'm shooting these photos for the website. I just took a bunch of these sheets of stock paper and I just lined them up like this and I think it looks so cute and retro-y. There's also this pair in gray, but I feel like for this particular main photo, I'm just gonna do the colorful ones because it just really, really pops against the pink paper. <laughs> Much later now, I just finished eating my leftovers from dinner last night. We went to hibachi and it was so good. The leftovers from hibachi are always amazing. So I just finished eating that and now I'm laying on the couch waiting for my sister to text me that she's getting on Xbox so we can play some Warzone. Don't mind my very pale and gross looking face. I'm actually having a skin reaction right now. I don't know if you guys can even see all of the redness on my cheeks. My skin is like very raised and irritated because I used cleansing wipes that were supposed to be for sensitive skin and I know for a fact that that's what did it because it's all around my eyes like the raised skin you can't really see it the redness is like below my cheeks but like all of the like raised little bumps from the reaction are all surrounding my eyes and I use those wipes all weekend it was the only new product that I used so I know for a fact that's what it's from but I'm just shocked because they're hyperallergenic and they were also fragrance free why is it that my skin has to be so sensitive I tried to pick something that I thought would not irritate my skin and it did anyway. But I am gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because there's nothing else exciting happening today. Thank you again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.